Hey, Asimov. Hey, Nix. Oh. <laughs> I will be playing all the Ultima on this uh, channel eventually. I'm like midway through the fourth one. <laughs> it's kind of on the back burner. Way back burner. Hey guys, welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction, and we're live pretty much every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, except on Saturdays. And we're continuing our game of Wing Commander 3, Heart of the Tiger. That is us. And that guy just lost to us. <laughs> and I looked it up, and supposedly, if you uh, you fail this mission against him you lose him but you don't have to do that mission you can challenge him but if you lose the challenge uh, and you continue on i reloaded but I, it took it, it took me two tries uh, you lose him now we're gonna get him as a wingman for the rest of the game but you lose him and the ship that he comes in which is the best ship in the game so yeah there's that uh, let's talk to him colonel I'd like to apologize for some of the things I said. Some? Well, I still think I could have beat you two out of three. Care to go at it again? No. From now on, I'll prove it to you out there. That is, if you figure I'm good enough to be your wingman. You're on the roster. You'll get your shot, same as everyone. Thank you. Just that little line that uh, Mark says, uh, "You want at it? You want to run at it again?" Just a good acting. <laughs> People in this game, uh, actors in this game, seem to have like brought everything they could, but they were all on blue screen, and for most, if not all, of the the actors here, this was like. Nothing they had ever done before it was going to be in a video game. Um, it's low resolution, so you need to really act. You can't just like I don't know. And they they did a, a magnificent job. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's beyond. I I still do appreciate the comic book style, like comic style, very colorful. But this game is just. Just incredible. As Wing Commander, as the Wing Commander series, I do prefer a more subdued, dark. And when you go into the Killerati part, it's more colorful, it's more grounded. Um, yeah. <laughs> doesn't like anyone. Colonel, you know the Kiorath may be using bioweapons here. First time I've heard of it. Kiorath has been preparing these kind of weapons for years. If they're not deployed here, they will be somewhere else. Would you mind telling me how it is you know so much about the Kiorathi? It doesn't matter if you believe me. She knows something. She's full of it. She knows something. Well, that's where you're wrong. It does matter. It's just that someday I'd like to get the rest of the story. <laughs> oh, that uh, actor Flash. Uh, that's the kind of the asshole uh, of the game. <laughs> um, I looked him up because he really reminded, especially his voice. I usually recognize characters or like actors with the voices, and um, it's Craig McDermott in uh, American Psycho. You don't really see him that much, but like he's he's a, he's he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> he's kind of a douchebag. I love American Psycho. I'm playing Doom too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna play the Doom uh, series pretty soon. There's a Doom movie coming up, so I might try to sync it with that or something like that. I like doing that. 
I think every streamer is like doing that. Like play horror games in Halloween. It's kind of, I don't know. I like to thematic. I was very more thematic at the beginning of my, when I started my my streams. <laughs> hey goose. I flew here once. A lot of places to hide in this system. This your first time? This is my home system. My father taught me everything he knew about flying here. He'd been planning to pass it all on to my brother, but Kilravi had other plans. I'm sorry. That's all right. Everyone's lost someone, right? They don't give you medals for it. So you haven't been back since? <laughs> well, which one was home? Uh, that one. It was a beautiful world. Dark purple nights and burnt moons that chased each other across the sky. The insects would sing. Different serenades, depending on how close the moons were. Yeah. My brother and I would stay up listening. Do you remember the time before the war? I don't let myself. Sir, I have scores to settle here. I can't be on the sidelines for these engagements. I need to be part of what goes down. Give her a shot. I can't risk it with her. Give her a shot. Flint, when you fly, are you gonna be my wingman or your brother's wingman? Hey Rez, or uh, Nix, are, are you you weren't aware of the Dune movie? There's a new Dune movie, <clears throat> and the director is oh, what's his fucking name? And it's a French Canadian. He's the guy that directed the latest Blade Runner and um, the Arrival. Dune, Dune. Dune? Dune. Dune? <laughs> oh, Rez. Oh, Rez. Juggalist. 80. Just stay for the end of October. And you might see some bad softcore porno. Way more than this. Be prepared. Of course. For Phantasmagoria 2. Phantasmagoria 2, man. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. There's a new Doom movie, really. Oh yeah, there is, you're right. I did heard about it a bunch a while ago, so it must be coming soonish. <laughs> so yeah. I'm quite surprised that Twitch lets people stream Phantasmagoria 2, but I ain't, I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> Denis Villeneuve! Yes, exactly, Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve will direct the new Dune. Who can even look up right now who plays in it. <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Ah, what am I doing? Hey, thanks for the follow, Cact. I hope that's how you say it. Okay, let's do a little save here. Boop. Let's get down to business, shall we? Ready, sir. The Karathi intentions in this area remain unclear. While we continue to gather intelligence, your task will be to corral the cats wherever possible. We wish particularly to shut off their access to the populated planets and this asteroid field. Let's try to put these Karathi raiders out of business permanently. Hmm? Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. <laughs> so, these are the mission objectives. How many times are we going to see thing. that? 
that cutscene here. Like, uh, we can choose him, her. I also read that supposedly, it's all theories, I think. She doesn't move when I when I put my cursor on. I, I like this guy though. Ooh. That the more you play with the character, um, the better he gets. So, but yeah, we're gonna. We never tried Flint. Boop. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed. Each character has better assignment, and since I don't want to just choose them by random, I read. <laughs> I just read it, and yeah, like Flint is good again. Cap ship, she's very defensive. Uh, but like I said before, it was pretty, pretty what I said, like, OBS obeys order by the book, uh, Maniac, absolutely not, has more chance to die, uh, Flash has more chances to die, he also flies recklessly. Play the game already! Uh, do we need to change something? Oh, cat. Can I have the Excalibur? No. No. I guess. Should do the weapon, the management of my power, like like I do with the swing. Commander movie? Yes. There is a Wing Commander movie, you mean. What? What did you say? Explosions. Oh my god, where are they? 
They need to remake it. <laughs> Duh. Hey, good evening, Michael. They need to remake it. No, they need to make it. They just, they just need to make it. Don't remake that shit. Just, just make a Wing Commander movie. But they don't need to make a Wing Commander movie. Just play Wing Commander 3. It's an awesome movie. It's an inter... It's an origin interactive movie. Origin, we build world. I, I finally got damage, so maybe it was say something attack. different. Now. It to him. Taking it to him. Whoop! Whoa! Scum. I heard the scum. Part. Oh! That was awesome. That was the guy ejecting it on her face. Let's throw a missile in there. Oh. Use some flares. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of new ships there. Oh, my God. Eh! Stealth fucking fighters! Oh man, are you kidding me already? Oh shit. Oh yeah, I killed him. <laughs> Fuckers. I could escape because this is this is like in Commander 2, so I'm sure I don't Whoa! Holy shit! Woo! Good job! Oh, I can autopilot through asteroid fields, thank god. Bogey's in sight. Break and attack. Taking it to him. Stealth fighters. Yeah, I should do, um... I think it's P for power. Oh my god. I don't, I'm not sure how that works, so I'm not gonna... What are you saying? I can't understand what you're saying. Speak English. Oh my god. Oh my, 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 my. Oh, there's a big ship there. Oh, that's a capital ship. Oh, I need to go far away from that. That's my problem. I have been cheated of my victory. Oh, you've been cheated of your victory. Oh, I've been cheated of my victory. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, attack that. Attack my target. Roger that. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Okay, we're gonna keep one missile.
I'm gonna let Flint uh, destroy it. She's good with gamboshes. This is the DOS version patched to become the Windows version. <laughs> so it's technically the Windows version, but it's the GOG version. <laughs> Cares what it is. Is it real hardware? Is it emulation? Is it ejecting? Holy shit! Oh, I think this is the front of the ship, so that's not good. Soon I won't have any. Uh... Oh, that's the back of the ship. Okay. The back of the ship is usually a good. Uh... If I don't have any fuel, I won't be able to destroy it. I need to load that down. Have a missile. Let's go. Last missile. Sir. God, look at that, so many. Oh man. No. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't do the same trick as an incoming to where I would I just tap it because now it's they, they got rid of that problem. So. Uh, this is not gonna work. They just they listen now in commander one or two, they just continue to follow. Fuck. Alright, there's no way I'm doing this. Well, that's not true, but Oh, I have 
no more. Same thing around me, back right in my face. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, I can't. Uh... I have to be more careful. Your death is imminent. Yes, I know. I, I just. Objectives accomplished. <laughs> Intense. <laughs> the ends are all sweaty, of course. Holy fuck. <clears throat> wow. Just because I lost my wingman, because that is just. Need clearance, TCS victory. Wow, I killed how many? Four, Intel says the Karathi presence there is increased. You're clear to land. The Karathi there has increased? What? That doesn't seem like a good thing. Sad sack look off your face, Ace. She made it. But when you think that this was made in 19... It wasn't made. It was made in 1994. But it was released in 1995. 1995. <laughs> Just to put it in perspective, Duk Nukem Kim came out in 98. <laughs> uh, is Duke Nukem 98? No, maybe not. Half-Life is 98. No, I think it's 96. I'm not sure. Okay, let's talk to people. You've been in these parts before, right? 
Word is the Kilrathi have let this system pretty dry over the years. Wakanda has always been hotly contested. A few months ago, I heard stories about some backwater system the Kilrathi had under siege for months. But after they cleaned it out, they didn't just move on. They dusted it with some new biological weapon. The whole system supposedly a total biohazard. Really ugly. No one can get near it. Rumor has it, Confed's quarantined that system. Nobody even talks about it. He might be right. Eh, there's nothing to worry about. He might be right. Nothing the cats do surprises me anymore. But if we do our job right, we're not gonna have to worry about that kind of thing. Maverick, I'm your father's roommate at college. <laughs> Somebody already made that joke. <laughs> no, 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 I, I need to... Uh... Oh, I can't watch it now. Oh. Salt, this game is all used to raid these planets. Yeah, I know. It puzzles me, these reports that the Kilrathi are surrendering the system. Surrender. Though I know the word in your language, I still fail in truly grasping it. I cannot guess at all what my one-time comrades might do. And Kilrathi are most dangerous when they are unpredictable. Surrendering the system. They don't even know what surrender means. This, and this makes the achievement even bigger. Yes, exactly. It's an incredible green screen. Yeah, I'm always. Uh, yeah, like 10 minutes ago, I was. Uh, I was saying how much the, the actors, it's all. Everybody put their A game. And it became a great game. Budget of four million, supposedly. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've still got more questions than answers on uh, Karathi operations here. Some of the Karathi forces are pulling out, other elements are closing in on the Condo 4. Intel thinks they've got warheads tipped with a new kind of bioweapon capable of spreading a pandemic over the whole planet within minutes. If Intel's correct, the half-life of this virus is over 500 years. <laughs> Colonel, we can't let a single warhead slip through and strike the planet. If the warheads bio, the civilians of Wakanda 4 will... Well, they'll die slow deaths from a ravaging disease, and all we'll be able to do is pull out of here as fast as we can. Good luck, son. That's crap. So, these are the mission objectives. <laughs> oh, and one last thing. Oh, and one last thing. Oh, can't use Flint, can't use Cobra. Flash, Maniac, Obs. Oh, I need Obs on this. Yep. Obs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Okay, I'm gonna trust you. I think this is the Excalibur.
Oh, it's only once. I go there and that's it. Fight the way area, destroy all my weapons. Come back. Okay. Oh, these are arrows. No. So if I destroy this... Break an attack. If I just destroy this thing, can you not launch the bioweapon? So I'm gonna launch all my missiles. It'll be like super crazy. I'm just reloading. There's a problem. <laughs> There's a problem. There's already a problem. Yeah, supposedly these windows are uh, soft spots, weak spots. I'm invincible! What's going on? Oh, okay, that's going on. <laughs> so I was maybe in the ship or something. Kinda clipped in the ship or something. The ship disappeared. <laughs> Replay. Oh yeah, that's right, we can just read. I don't have to read all <clears throat> Okay, let's uh, do this first. Break an attack. Break an attack. Engage an enemy now. No, no, I shouldn't. I have dispatched oh, nice. an enemy. I have dispatched an enemy. Full guns. Oh, I need to. to go with my power control. Crazy how how bad they are. <laughs> no, they're really good, but yeah, I thought Oz would be better. Oh, I'm not focusing on the missiles at all. Cat missile, is that what I need to focus on? Yeah, it's super far, so I have no chance of hitting it. So do I need to kill everyone and then the missile or just focus on the mission mission missiles. I was playing Wing Commander 1. Yeah I played wow I'm invincible. I've played Wing Commander no I should use my missile on the fighters. Yeah. And I may have a torpedo, I'm gonna check. Oh since you can only do continue um you don't have access to the loadout. Let's insert disk 4. <laughs> oh, didn't I press continue? Eh, anyway. We're gonna look at the loadout. Oh, press the insert this CD2. Poop. <laughs> Epilepsy warning. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's 
go with I don't know maniac. Yeah, we need we need a fucking maniac on this. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Okay, what do you? Uh, okay, um, hard points. We have some heat sinking. We have a torpedo. We got the torpedo. Okay. Okay. Proceed. So it was a bunch of eat sick. I didn't even check. <laughs> it's all eat sick. Yeah. I guess. DJ Pe Pato. Hello. This is DOS Windows. Oh yeah, this is 1995. Can you believe that shit? When it came out, we couldn't believe the requirements. We were like, 8, I think it's 4 or 8 megs of RAMs? Maybe not, maybe it's only 2. Eight megs of RAM, and we're like, "What? I want to. I only have like two, huh?" <laughs> so, what about this? so I don't think I need to tell him to break an attack. Just break an attack. Just attack this shit. Attack my target. Not possible. Oh, not possible. And can I do this? Uh, no, I can do the maneuver. And it takes 12 seconds for a torpedo. Oh, and the eat seeking missile are also very long. So I won't be able to eat sink them. What'd you do? Whoa, that was close. Oh, I think he destroyed it. Now I need to go to the fucking missiles, dumbass. Oh my! Oh, I'm way too far. There's no way. I can see them though. It's right there. Break an attack! Break an attack, you dumbass. He killed the cannibal ship in like 30 seconds. Your first PC had 8 megs. My first PC, I don't think it even had 1 meg. Oh, we're way too far. I think I can make it? You can see the... Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe. This is not the fastest ship. Yeah, exactly. I didn't even know the ramp also. At the time, like... It was like... Kilobytes of rounds. No will not survive this battle, people. Scum. Yeah, it was a 386 S625. Something like that. Oh, you, it was a 386 S616. 16, woof. And 25 was just crappy. I bought. There you go. I bought um, Wincoming and uh, Wincoming, Mech Warrior Two, and I could 
barely run the thing. It would, once I upgraded it to uh, a 486, oh, I think. I'm not sure, my memory is fuzzy on that, but I think I upgraded it like. There you go. Mission objectives accomplished. Stealth anymore? Maybe they don't have, they don't have an energy. I have dishonored my clan. Mechor one. Oh my god. I played Mechor one a couple of years, or maybe the same year that I played Mechor two. And I was like, oh my god, that's crazy, but I, I played it uh, recently on stream, and I finished it. <laughs> In one stream, it took about... I think it took about two hours, something like that. Fancy. But yeah, but I wanted to play more than point-and-click adventure games, and I just could not. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy. Oh, a Pentium! Whoa, no, that's fucking fancy! Wow, I passed like th two upgrades till I got my two or three upgrades. Like it was 386, then the 486. Then I think I upgraded that 486. I'm not sure. And then it was Pentium. And my Pentium was. I think it was a Pentium 66. It was a bare mini. It was even worse than 75, it was 66. It must have had 8 meg, I'm sure. But yeah. Well, the sound crowd. The, the sound crowd, I had a so I, 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 I went through all the Sound Blaster cards. Like, I started with a Sound Blaster. Because I went to my, my friend's house and he was, uh, he had an old computer and I had just had mine, so he had all the things he could show me and he had a good 486 computer. But he had no uh, sound cards, but he would show me really great games that, that just should sound great, like a couple of the later King Quests and that had voices even, or at least they had good music. But now it was all like PC speaker, and I was like, yeah, that feels weird. The graphics are great, but what? But he said, like, oh, I don't want to spend the money, or my mother does want to spend money on that. But that's one of the first things I, I, I bought. It wasn't Sir, they're going to be naming babies after you on Lokanda 4. While you were out there, Intel did confirm that the Karathi Warhead loadouts were biohazard in nature. You're clear. Oh, wait a minute, sir. Captain Ison's on the comm. Colonel, we've got a situation in the lunar outreaches of Lakanda 4. Lieutenant Robin Peters has ignored our return to ship order. She's gone renegade. Appears to be pursuing her own private war. Can you risk bringing her back? <laughs> okay. Do I have to go back out? Oh, okay, no, I finish this mission. Yeah, Ipsips warning for this attention. Yeah, so yeah, I bought my sound. It was like 25 bucks, I don't know. And I was like blown away, and I was like, oh, Sound Blaster! And then with the new Sound Blaster, I bought the new one, and then the new one, like Sound Blaster 16, the Sound Blaster A, AWA. It's on CD3. Uh, AWA32, uh, and then the Sound Blaster 64, and I ended on the Sound Blaster 64. But then the upgrades were like that great. Just having a Sound Blaster car was just. But if you bought a Pentium, the Sound Blaster car must have been pretty good anyways. It wasn't like in the DOS times where, like your Pentium must have come out, must have come with the Windows 95. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm sorry you had to come after me. 
Oh, forget it. Sometimes oh, I feel so the I same didn't way. go after. I like to kill every one of those Kiarates my own self. Take care of yourself, girl. Oh, uh, Cobra's a hell of a fighter. She risks too much. We don't fly suicide missions. We fight this war to live, not to die. You've got to fly with your head, Flint, not your heart. You've never done that, sir. Fly with your heart. The day I do that, I expect a stiff dressing down, mister. That's an order. Sir, my father didn't read his children bedtime stories. He read to us from the regs manuals. I know there are certain actions necessary. Grounder. Give her a break. I'll give her a break. Book regs are not war regs. If this were peacetime, I'd ground you faster than a tachyon. But now that's an indulgence we can't afford. But don't make one of us come after you again. That, sir, would be an indulgence. So I could reload. I don't think there's any uh, consequences to that. So yeah, I should have just. I thought it was just. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I didn't. Think. That's a problem. I didn't. Think. Oh really? <laughs> you didn't miss out on anything. I don't know what the AWE really, really standard for. Maybe it was because of a joystick board or some shit like that. No, no, no. And even the Soundmaster card itself, once you really look at it, it's essentially an ad-lib card. Oh, by the way, back then, just upgrading from PC speaker to ad-lib was the thing you wanted to do. Soundmaster card just added uh, digitized stuff. So if you had a, f a bunch of games on floppy, Usually there wasn't any digitized uh, sound or digitized voice, like something that they record and they just relaunch and put on an FM FM chip, FM FM chip, FM chip, FM chip, FM chip. Yeah, but it's not always digitized speech. And before digitized speech, it was just sometimes it's a door opening or the footsteps sound. Cluk, cluk, cluk. A really small uh, clip uh, that doesn't really take much space and that uh, you can reuse throughout the game and sounds really good. Uh, you would find that in many, 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 many games. So you would miss out on that, but that's not the end of the world. But eventually, with CD ROMs and stuff, you would miss out on the speech, that's for sure. Uh, but the Sound Blaster, like, you had ad lib on the Sound Blaster and you had that digitized uh, chip. And that's it. That, that was it. That was the Sound Blaster card. And it was the, that was it until like, I think the 64. And it had great MIDI support and stuff like that. Yeah, there, there was MIDI. Uh, yeah. MIDI. Street Fighter 2, that's weird for the PC. <laughs> Interesting. I never played Street Fighter on the PC. I really played like PC games that were not on console because I was a great console gamer I I was a crazy guy I was a crazy NES guy and then I was a crazy SNES guy but when I when I first touched the PC I was like whoa the like some of the point and clicks games that I had played on the NES or even the SNES like uh, Nightshade for the NES for example uh, when I saw what the PC could do with the point and click stuff I was like oh my god with the mouse and the graphics were better uh, the sound were better when you had a good and the 3D stuff also. Yes, yeah, so somebody showed me X-Wing and um, like point and click adventure game like Gabriel Knight and stuff like that. I was like, oh, I'm sold. I'm sold with, uh, with PC gaming. <laughs> yeah, 5.1 surround, but that, I didn't have 5.1 surround until like I never had 5.1 surround on my PC to really think about it. Like I have like simulated 5.1, like 7.1. <laughs> uh, I should save. I feel like I missed a mission there, but whatever. 
What's, the, what's going on here? A Blitzkrieg Kilrothi assault has taken the lives of thousands Still buying the fantasy that we're winning the war? Why the hard on for the opposite take? Because you'd have to be blind not to see that things are going bad and getting worse. Excuse me. Fact, we haven't had shore leave in months. Fact, all we do is move from one defensive mission to another. Fact, our entire force is constantly in retreat. Now, is that just my imagination or is the entire war effort unraveling before our eyes? Fact. We have a communications officer aboard with far too much time on his hands. Dangerously spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt throughout the ship. From now on, mister, you spout your theories to anyone. I'll have you reassigned to waste recycling. And I didn't have any... Oh, that was like pretty cheesy acting there when he came up. <laughs> Oh yeah, that guy, that, yeah, that guy is also a guy, I mean, almost all of the actors in this are not major actors, but I've played in many, many things before, after this, they're good actors, um, yeah, it's crazy. They handpicked every uh, actor and it, I think was important. I think they just threw them on the fucking. Well, I guess in audition it's always like a blue screen. There's no, there's nothing. I don't know. Giving you lines of wing commander, not knowing anything. Be certain that no one in there, even Mr. Luke Skywalker, didn't know what fucking wing commander was, and be like, okay, you need to do it like this and play like that and go. I mean. <sighs> You need to be good. <laughs> you need to know what you're doing. Message from Angel? Uh, to be honest, this isn't really cheesy. There's many, many FMV games that are way cheesier than this. There's a part with Tolwyn that I remember was pretty eh. I think the fourth one is cheesier, and I thought this was cheesy, but like we went through like an hour of cutscenes now, and no, they they play it straight. I mean, there's always a maniac that's a little like a little over the top and that other guy but they're the crazy one in here so it kind of passes but everybody else like really plays it straight and they're a little bit uh, over the not even over the top you want to see over the top go watch Dungeons and Dragons go watch that movie that's fucking over the go watch Wing Commander go watch the movie Wing Commander that's cheesy and I don't. I'm not sure that it's intentional. Anyways, I find it super funny, and I love that movie for that reason. But no, that's cheesy. The Ring Commander movie. Oh, Tex Murphy. Yes, that is intentional. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I can agree with that. <laughs> I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for winning us Flash on a permanent basis. <laughs> A little of both, I guess. I wish I had more pilots like you, Colonel. Might make the war in sooner. I'm especially glad that you haven't let the victory cramp your style any. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Were you guys talking about Tex Murphy? Did I miss something? Yeah, Tex Murphy is great. I, I just discovered it recently. There was always that, that um, 
when I would go to Compute Center, that cover of uh, Under a Killing Moon, and I was like, eh, it looks interesting. I would like look at the box behind and be like, I don't know. It looks cheesy. It looks cheap, but it was intentional, and it's a great, great game. I even kickstarted and uh, played the the latest one, Tesla Effect. Hey, time to go to bed. Hey, Michael. Good night. So we went through everything, yeah. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've got a simple job ahead of us. We've got control of the sector base and jump point. The Karathi want that control. Let's keep them at bay, gentlemen. We can't give up ground here. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismiss. I never played Loom. I should play it. I wanted to play it on stream when I started streaming and just forgot about it. Moved oh, on with other games. Thing. I play less point and clicks, I should go back to them eventually. I should take Cobra. I never took her. Yeah, it's yeah, I know it's it's a short game, so I know I'm gonna like finish it super quick, so and now as a days I play more longer games, at least at least ten hours, ten to fifteen hours. Yeah, it's almost one stream, right? Or it's maybe just one stream. Boop. Cobra, I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. I would need some kind of... Uh, like the, maybe the 25th anniversary of Loom or a remake of Loom coming up and I'll be like, okay, now I need to play. Like I need an incentive to play Loom. I played every other LucasArts adventure game except that one. I'm a big fan of Mania, uh, Maniac, can I mention. Uh, yeah, that's, I want to look at the ships. Elcat, I guess. Image of ignition. <sighs> Defend the base. Return to the victory. Okay. You dig the dig? You also did the dig. Do you dig the dig? I dig the dig. I dig the dig. The dig is there. I dig the dig. Oh, it's a great game. Supposedly the creator of the dig is an asshole, but I don't care. It's a great game. Great a great attack. We're having some problems here. Oh, I need to check my freaking power next time. Like in the, they give you time for that. In the, like this game clearly checked what X Wing did right or wrong, because it came pretty much at the same time as uh, Tie Fighter. The thing is, everybody could play Tie Fighter, but no one could play this fucking game because of the requirements. So I stuck, uh, I, I stuck with the uh, Tie Fighter, and I was the Tie Fighter is a great game. But when this came out, I, I missed out on it. I played it like a couple of years after, like maybe, maybe 99, 2000, something like that. Woohoo! That was weird. 
Break and attack. Going after. Yeah, the league is an amazing game, amazing story, acting. Uh, there's a bunch of good actors in there. The guy that played the the T1000, T1002, Patrick, Patrick something. I'm getting better at this game. X-Files, yes, it was an X-Files, you're right. I need to rewatch the whole series. I was a big fan of the X-Files back then. I remember the end of it, like being, uh, maybe not the last season, but there was a couple of seasons that were so epic. Oh, it was the last... Oh, is that a missile? <gasps> Ow. The last couple of uh, episodes where Mulder was more important, it was like featured. Because eventually he just disappeared from, from the show. He got abducted! Like they literally said that. That he got abducted. Like, abducted. Oh, I don't have any missiles anymore. Cobra, we need. We need you. Oh my god, look at that! Look at look at when I Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my, I never knew that! Oh I think he's gone? What what is he doing? Okay, he's coming back. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I am in, that's I think it's a super dumb effect to do, but that they did it. They fuck oh my god, that guy I I think has real turrets or something. Yeah, it has fucking weird turrets. Oh my, ouch. It needs so much RAM. <laughs> Just because of the freaking distortion. Man, and everything counts. Uh, everything. So even that is... It will, uh, I'm sure it's effects that you can remove. And the options. I'm happy to have played it like a couple Mission of years later so I, I could play like full frame per second graphics at maximum. Because yeah, you can go into the option here and yeah, detail level. Let's put out low. Is there a distortion now? Oh, uh, there's a problem though. There shouldn't be distortion on the HUD. Like, this thing is the HUD. This is a digitized thing. It shouldn't be distorted by a crack in my... <laughs> it's not a physical thing in space. Yeah, even at the minimum, they still put that in, so it must be nothing. It must not cost much to do that. It's very neat. It's very neat. When the the guy that thought of it and programmed that, good job. I did not play Descent lately. The last time I played might have been when it came out, but it's on my list, by the way. It's a game I want to play soon. Um, I'll be very bad at it, though. Oh my! <laughs> uh, 
Yes, I remember yeah, my friend had that game and he was like, yeah, Wing Commander. He was very into Wing Commander and I was not, I was into it. And when I went at his home, the, the game looked like this. But I think he showed me what the game could look like, but it ran like crap. So this is essentially what uh, TIE Fighter looks like, but add textures on that. Whoa! Textures! I think you love the gameplay. Of course, I I know decent. I know I love the. I will love. I I loved decent back then. It's just been a while since I've played. Yeah, I know there are HD packages, but I might just play the, the good old decent. Um, communication victory. Yes. Need clearance, TCS victory. They're having a party in your honor down at the Black Main Base, Colonel. You're clear to land. I think there's a source port. For that for descent so that might be what I will do mm -hmm. Smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. I was about, he was almost about to kiss her. Huh? Colonel, uh, can we chat off the record? Don't we usually? Yeah. It's one of the things that I like about you. And the fact that I like you is why I want to say this. Um... Go ahead. You've got a look in your eyes that I've seen before. I had this fellow see, and he went out one day and saw his women get fried. Started to blame himself, and no matter what I said or anybody else, it didn't matter. A few days after that, he took out a thunderbolt and just kept going. He uh, hit a jump point just as the Kilrathi were coming through. There were a lot of fireworks. He might still be out there as far as I know. They never found him, not even a trace. And that look in your eyes is the same look that he had just before he went out on that mission. Do you want to talk about it? She understands. It's none of her business. She understands. She understands. Let's try that. I had someone too. I keep having these nightmares. I can't get them out of my head. Maybe she ditched her craft in some neutral territory. Maybe she found out a way to sidestep the war entirely. But I kept thinking, one way or another, I'd hear. Well, there I haven't. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe my guy and your gal got together out there. At least they'd be alive. <laughs> yeah. But then I'd have to kill him when he came back. <laughs> Knowing that the compression would be so bad when they move around, uh, I would have told the actor, don't move too much. You can move, but like the more they move, the more like pixelated because as soon as they just start stop moving, or they just move a little bit, it becomes like clearer. I don't know if you noticed. That's always the kind of thing that bugs me. <laughs> but hey, what what can you do? Okay, I'll take a little break here, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. It's got noisy pixelated charm this way, oh yeah, and when, uh, like you see, especially when ships move in front of the black background, like the big streaks, oh man, those are the days. <laughs> I remember MechWarrior 2 being like that. I would see the intro of MechWarrior 2 back at my 
386 and it would run like crap. It was literally a frame show, but there was like big streaks and blocks that would stay on the screen, and something had to pass for them to like uh, remove the block. Like, kind of weird. And I was like, ah, that can't be right. That's because I have a shitty computer, so I upgraded all my computer because also the 3D parts were shitty. But it was marginally better. <laughs> like, it was smooth and all, but it was still a big pixelated chunk. But, eh, it was back then. That was like 94, 95, I think we're 2. What was that? I have the thing right here. 95. So it's 95. So 94, 95, no that's not right, yeah, no, 94 might be the year that I really got into gaming, PC gaming I mean, <laughs> I got into gaming way before that, but I started with games that came out before like, like uh, uh, Space Quest 3 and 4, uh, because my PC could not handle new games, anyways, just uh, coming back in a couple of minutes. Secret of Monkey Island, a game so big only the Sega CD could hold it. You are Guybrush Threepwood, would-be pirate. Something's afoot on these islands, and it's up to you to find out what's what. A graphic adventure game has never been so easy. Using the award-winning scum system, walking, talking, taking is as simple as pointing the cursor and pressing a button. The Secret of Monkey Island offers adventure gamers a new kind of storytelling experience that includes logic puzzles, complex conversations and side-splitting humor available now from LucasArts games and JVC the secret of Monkey Island sets new standards for Sega Genesis CD games Ever since Freddie Farkas set up his pharmacy in the post gold rush town of course gold California he's kept a rather low profile mind the store won't you Srini I'm off to uphold justice and stuff. But as a strange onslaught of trouble gallops into town, it's up to Freddy to save Coarse Gold from disaster and desertion by bringing his secret gun slinging past out of the closet. I've got to dredge up my ugly past, dust it off, fluff it up, and put it on again. Experience Freddy Farkas, frontier pharmacist, as it was meant to be, on CD-ROM with full multimedia voice, sound, and musical score. Not pistols and Pharmacology. Farkas. From a land far, far away. With help from his loyal Indian sidekick, Serini Lakaka Bagnish, Freddy, once the youngest sheriff and fastest gunslinger in the West, sets out to save his hometown from invading outlaws, a crooked sheriff, and even horse flatulence. Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. The funniest adventure yet from Al Lowe, creator of the legendary Leisure Suit Larry. Some of your fine coarse gold fillings. He packs more laugh out loud entertainment than a posse of cowpoke. Oh, what's up? That's answer question. 
A simple point-and-shoot interface makes this fully interactive comedy western easy to saddle up and play. So, grab your pestles and pistols and start mixing it up with some of the craziest characters from the way out west in Sierra's latest interactive CD-ROM release, Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. Behold the works of Gabriel von Sanchez. His art was ambitious in its scope. His masterpiece was, of course, Dance of the Anarchists. Brilliant. Sanchez then began to play Ultima Exodus, the role-playing video game from FCI. It was a strange turn. Sanchez loved the game, and he spent less and less time in the studio. He was never the same. Consider Man with Dog. Ultima Exodus for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Once you start playing, nothing else matters. Hey, Bio Blizzard, how's it going? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Oh, so sometimes she is on the flesh, so she was there. But you always start on the flight deck, do you? Hmm. I have to check the flight deck. Once in a while, just to be sure I don't miss any cutscenes. Well, if it isn't Lover Boy himself, I saw you putting uh, moves on everybody's favorite little grease monkey. Jealous? The moves? Oh, I don't think getting into her pants requires any high risk maneuvering. It's none of his business. He's jealous. Or just the fact that it takes maneuvering leaves you breathing my engine exhaust, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh way. man, I've dated all you girls. Ugh. It's a sick good scene. It's good to dare the whole CD. <laughs> I can't talk to you. Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. Now that we've broken the Karathi siege on the base, the supply ships can finally move in. We need to escort the incoming convoys, get them to the base without any deaths. That means a little housekeeping to clear the way. We're doing good. Let's keep it up. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. God, I love that boy, so, Spunk. These are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. I don't know if I ever use one of these two guys. I don't know. Flash? Did I ever use Flash? I don't know. Uh, yes, we Flash, should. you're gonna be my wingman. Flash. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck. So supposedly also, if you're cool with everybody, they're gonna fly better, or listen more to your orders. But in the case of Maniac and Flash, it's the opposite. So if you're cool with them, they will not follow you. <laughs> but if, if you're an asshole, they'll follow you. I like that. 
It's kind of weird, but I'm gonna be cool with everybody, so they're not gonna fall. Well, was I cool with him, the jealous thing? Maybe not. Oh, maybe I'm not gonna be. I'm usually cool, but sometimes I'll... I'll try something out to see what, what he says. Uh, yeah, that's, that's okay. Thunderbolt with heat seeking. That's fine. Yep. First, power. Okay, so how does that work? <laughs> I need to check the manual. So, P to cycle through these. It's essentially the bars like this. You can lock them with control. Yeah, okay, you can. Okay, control. saying to put this to 25% which I think it is and lock it there um, like this and then you move to the other one and god I prefer the X-Wing version but I'm not used to it so I don't want to touch these but the damage I just want like a little bit like this And I think what, what the rest what they did with the rest is fine. Okay. Because I don't need repairing. If I need repairing, then I'll go there and I'll put it like maximum. And shields and remove lasers and stuff like that. I'd like to pause to do that though. But I can't. Oh, oh, oh. That's Flash. No, he's good Flash. He's a... He's great. Supposedly the best pilot we have here. <clears throat> Thanks for the escort, Colonel. Oh, that's it. Was that it? Fly to waypoint rendezvous with convoy. Oh, we have a second rendezvous. Nice to shoot the missile at the. <laughs> I think so. Ah, we're gonna be fine. I autopiloted out of there. So. <gasps> uh. What I What just fucking happened? <laughs> what happened? It wasn't my missile. Anyways, we're gonna replay, replay that. So P, control dash, and we'll control bracket. P P P, bracket bracket bracket. We're good. No damage. I want this. Attack, you nice. dumbass. Break an attack. And watch this action.
Thanks for the escort, Colonel. Hey, Spacing Guild! I think that was inevitable. A break an attack if it's not done already. Whoa! This ship does it. It's a shitty turn rate. Oh, I think the turn rate is. is no, it's not because of my power distribution. Tell ship in an asteroid field. Great. That's fucking awesome. It's a trap! Where's Flash? Did he die? I hope he isn't dead. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. Oh, there's plenty of others, no! <laughs> I can't do this! This is a joke. Let's go out. And you can't go faster by... Uh, just in the, the engine power. It Die! just makes you turn rate right faster, which is good. There's no way I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna have to fight them. So that's a shame. It's not like in Wing Commander 2 where you could fly away. But now I just have to use all my fuel. And that's bad. Oh, I'm gonna try the tapping at the... No, no, they, they, they just come back. <clears throat> okay, I have missiles. So... Torpedo, no. Why do I have a torpedo? Oh, that's it. Heat seeking. Fuck. I don't need deep seeking against stealth. Oh, come on. I 
And slowing down doesn't help me turn right. Not really. Not really. I shot him! <sighs> I just hope Flash is not dead. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Colonel, or should I call you Houdini? You got a standing invite from Black Main Base to join them for steak and eggs now that they're able to unload those supply convoys. <laughs> You're clear to land, sir. They recorded a bunch of those and uh, briefing. Since they're small, so it was left space on the CD, they couldn't add a bunch. about Flash, but we scooped him up. Okay. Maybe this will teach him some humility. <laughs> yeah, he has some problems. <laughs> <laughs> and she must have a line for every, uh, every one of them. This is what it's cool about this game is, now sometimes I might be old if I do something bad, but you could literally just jump in there do a mission, uh, if you're having trouble you just eject and you just play the campaign as you would and maybe you'll fail but there's like there's a failing scenario and a failing mission and a failing ending that's I, I think I never did it but I think it's cool I think there's three endings you know like two failing endings and one uh, victory ending good ending I want to check something here, and I can't. Uh... No. Should be something here. There's at least one cutscene per. Yeah. Feels good what we've been doing here. Why are the stakes less personal in this system? I hate to admit it. But those are real people down there, just as real as the people I knew back in the Lokanda system. I can't say they're as real to me, though. I just don't have an image of them in my mind. You'd burn out very quickly if you did. You know, sometimes I hate myself because I actually feel lucky there is a war. I knew, I mean, I know someone who feels that way. She lives to fight the good fight. For me, it's the flying. I love the purity. Nothing holding me back. Only pilots know that feeling. Sparks flying. Her and uh, Rachel, the tech, can be uh, romances in the game. I think I did both when I was young, when I was young. <laughs> I was like 19 maybe when I played this, but uh, I think I won't do any of them, which I think feels more logical. Blair is still very attached to Angel, at least my Blair. <laughs> I don't see him. Look at Wing Commander 1 and 2, their relationship, he and Angel, is pretty intense. <laughs> They're pretty intense, these two. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to do a save. There's that save. We've got a weapons convoy coming in. If we can get it through the blockade, the base will have a chance of defending itself. And we must protect this convoy at all costs. 
sometimes these briefings go so fast. Like, uh, okay. So these I are definitely the prefer objectives. the briefings in the X Wing and Tie Fighter. And, and all oh, and one things. last thing. Don't FMV the the briefing. That's stupid. <laughs> Unless they just reuse them. I don't know. I haven't really noticed. They go by so fast. Uh, I don't know. Last time I picked uh, him or him, I can't even remember. God damn it. <laughs> Was it him or him? I think it was him. I don't know. Let's go with Vagabond. I want you as my wingman. Dismissed. I think it was Vagabond. Good luck. It's okay. What's the ship? A Thunderbolt? Protect, protect the Ships are awesome to fight, they're like pretty big. I definitely like the design of the Kilarathi ships. They are meant to strike fear in their opponents, that's what it says in the manual. In the lore, there's a bit uh, they explain like their, their, uh, their suits, their colors. Why they do things, it's really nice. Like the culture. Presented by Ops. Enemy target so, destroyed. Yeah, that's a good ship no, that's not. My clan. Wow. Break an attack. Here we go. Do it
our company. Breaking attack. Here we go. Breaking attack. Here we go. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm pretty beat up. By the way, the red bars are my hull and the yellow bars is my shield. So my hull, my back hull is completely destroyed. There's little... so maybe I have some damage. No, I have to check sometimes because it will not be repaired. I think there's a pop-up somewhere It said like, your laser is that. I don't know. Okay. Mission objectives accomplished. Excellent. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Black Main says they can take it from here, Colonel. Our next stop is downtown Kilra. There's something close to it. You're cleared to land. Stand. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess. Was it outstanding? I don't know. I guess it was outstanding. I, it was outstanding. Yeah, it always does that. Like the first couple of seconds, like before they switch it scenes, kind of angle view, camera angle view uh, from the 3D to the FMV part. It does that. It's, it's always when he comes out of the ship. It's not that annoying. I think that's like the Windows version, or maybe the Windows version, because I'm using DG Voodoo and all that shit. I mean, pff, you don't want to know, <laughs> or or you want to know. So I want to talk to Rachel, but I want to say before.
that now, partner. All you jocks want a recon work so bad, now you got it, which means us grunts gotta bust our asses for you. <laughs> well, can she repeat that? That's the first part, but whatever. She's not happy. <laughs> She's never happy. About time. I don't recall ever seeing that before. She smiled. That smile on your face? It looks good. Oh, I can smell them, sir. Now that we're in their territory, all those Kiorathids waiting to die in my hands. <laughs> well, being on the offensive seems to have brought you out of that shell of yours. I didn't become a pilot just to babysit bases. She's out there. She's right. We're gonna kick some ass here. Get the book. Come on, try your luck, sir. Uh, don't I get to cut the deck at least? You'd be surprised how many rookies just ante up and uh, look shocked when they lose their first pot. Well, they get what they deserve then. I hear we're going after a garrison. I haven't been briefed. It may not seem like it, but my wheels are always turning. <laughs> I fly better when I know what the real objectives are. HQ's got a bad habit of labeling every target a military installation, even when they ain't. I like to be real sure. Oh. He's worried about nothing. We're just pilots. It's almost the He's same thing. We're just pilots. He's worried about nothing. We're just pilots. In this war, everything is military. Not everything, sir. That is He's right. Bombarding civilian installation as a decoy or things like that is stuff that happens. And no, they will not tell you. Because <laughs> you're not gonna do it if they tell you, of course. <laughs> or you'll have doubts. Oh, of course, it's Wing Commander. It's even better than I remember. It's fun when you can remove the nostalgia glasses and be like, this game is still fucking awesome. <laughs> Not like Wing Commander 1 and 2. I cannot say the same for the first two installments of the Wing Commander series. So that was it. Okay. I try to really focus on what I'm gonna say because it's just protect that or destroy that. They might just reuse them, that's why. No, no. I mean, not all. Part of the reason we're in Karathi space is because of your flying. You've done the victory proud. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're gonna have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive move. Okay. You need to nail every last one of them. Karate. Okay. That's what I usually do. Sir, them nailed, sir. I thought that was always a thing. And unfortunately in this game it doesn't tell you the number of kills because I love that boy spunk. Oh, I almost so, these are the <laughs> Almost <laughs> talked over the, the line. Oh, and one last thing. Boy, I love that boy spunk. Consider them nails, sir. Okay, we need we need a crazy we need maniac on this. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. 
Don't make me regret it. He's gonna fucking kill. Oh, maybe Dismissed. Cobra? Mm. Good luck. Oh, yeah. I should have taken Cobra, maybe. I, did, I think I never took her. Yeah, let's reload. And we're gonna listen to, the, to that code again. Oh, that's a. Whoops. Yeah, it's learning the CD tree, of course. Uh, can I skip one part of this? Colonel! Part of the reason we're in Karathi right. space is because of your flying. You've done the victory proud. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're gonna have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive move. You need to nail every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. God, I love that boy, Spunk. So, these are the mission objectives. Uh, yeah. Cobra. Cobra, I want you on... She was pretty bad the last time I used her, so... A longbow. Oh, we're going against capital ships? Okay. Maybe she's gonna not have an armor, I don't know. Anyway, it's not like it's. Uh, friend or foe, Eat Seekers. Torpedo, Torpedo, Eat Seekers, Friend or foe. Okay, it's pretty much. Uh, what I like usually, so let's go. <laughs> let's look at that again. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that here would kill performance, by the way. This would be better for performance. But Origin, it's all about the immersion. Yeah, you would you would want to play like this if you're really if you're a real gamer. <laughs> so this is to kill capital ships. I thought we were. Sighted, Colonel. Okay. Breaking attack. attack. Going after. Full gun, but I also want to switch to my torpedoes. Oh. That should destroy it. What? Okay, so I had two torpedoes. Okay, I have four torpedoes total. Something. Oh, that's just a transport. Okay, torpedo. 
takes 12 seconds to get it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, killing capital ships in this game is really satisfying. And there's multiple ways to do it. You don't have to use torpedoes. Torpedoes is one way to do it. If your ship has torpedoes, you can always put torpedoes on your ship. Um, but 12 second lock, and this was okay. There wasn't enough fighters around. So it's okay. But if you have a lot of fighters around, you have to get rid of them before doing that. Or you just run past it with your lasers, go through their shields, and just attack directly the hull. Or uh, just use a bunch of uh, missiles or so. It's just. I have a bunch of options here. So, yeah. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Break and attack. Going out. Yes, it has. Uh, so you can use this. Okay, okay. We have, we have, we're, we're, uh, we're targeting like this. Oh my God, the sensitivity though is weird. Anyways, that works. But yeah, we have rear turrets, which is kind of nice. But yeah, this is very sensitive. Whoa. <laughs> Oh fuck, there's... oh man, I think I'll have to... Uh... Man, this is a big ship. Like, I'm not even in range of my torpedoes. I think I'll need to uh, left, leave one alive. Like, that was perfect when she was attacking, but she died. But it was essentially perfect. Let's try this. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, come on. Come on. You can do this, you can do this. Ah. 
I like me I think that's not enough. Yeah, it's almost. Jumping. Oh, there was a cutscene there. There's a cutscene there. I want to reload. That's just what I wanted to play. They weren't happy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, we did all this, right? Wasn't this 13? One. Uh, this should be the. Right, I can always talk to them. No, no. I should just not have Anyway. So, blah blah blah. Flint. Flint. Okay. Power. That's the thing I did not do. Better turn rate would be nice. What happens if I do? If I remove this, put it up like this. <laughs> okay, like this, it's good, but the rest is just crap. So fuck it. If I want to evade, but I have no shields, if I do that, it's not that great. Leave it like that. Oh, one or the other works, okay. Good to know. I don't need any damage. No, at all. I don't need at all. Okay. Hold the fire. Bogey's in sight. Break and attack. You know what to do. Taking it to him. Oh, this is a Corvette, so I won't be using Tell her to attack the same target attack as my target. me. Roger that. I'm gonna try to go inside of this ship. Like in between these things. It goes pretty fast. No, it was not even attacking me. This is 
crazy. Ah, ah. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Let's go at it again. Come on, what's the fuck with the turn? Turn around. Can I just stop here? Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's okay. It's still not dead. Oh, is it dead? Oh, I think I destroyed it. Or she did? No. Maybe I should destroy this fucking turret. Oh, that's that's the other one. It doesn't keep my. I lock my target, but sometimes it switches without me asking for it. Yeah, killing the turrets might be the first thing I should do. Like the turret that's right here. Supposedly, this is where I need to shoot. It's kind of What's going on with my shields? Okay. okay. Wait a little bit for my shields to recharge. Bogey's in sight. Break an attack. Take it to him. Yeah, I thought I really liked the the gameplay of the, the space fighting in X-Wing and TIE Fighter, but this is really solid. It's different. Okay, now it's the big, 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 big ship. Bogey's in sight. Okay, let's attack, attack my it. Target. Roger that. Okay, we don't give any chances. I need to switch immediately to torpedoes. I need to... Oh shit, that's what I was talking about. Are you kidding me? Okay. 
it's still great. It's still great. I've played a bunch of like more recent game like this and there's not many and they're not that great. And it's usually just destroy everything. There's no real strategy. There's skill involved in like the dogfighting and all, but there's no like real options and like the different types of missile in, in this are really they have their purpose. The heat seeking is only when you can see their uh, their engine, so when you're dogfighting you can do that. You can't like be far away and shoot that. For that you need the image mi missile or the friend or foe, but the fr friend or foe is more reliable, but it's less damage, but it's a little slower I think, and anyways. Um, replay. Yeah, it was good, just to be better. <laughs> Focus on the fighters first. I was dumb too. Okay. Power. Bogey's in sight. Break an attack. Taking it to him. Is that? That's just one ship. I'll just reload because I won't beat up. Turning speed is so slow. He disappeared. This one. Oh my! Yes. One less kill okay, what's your status? your status. All systems go. This is cool. This is, this is more dangerous.
worthless in five years. There's a way to remove the smart targeting so I can target my friendlies. Or is a button for that? Control S. to be that. Anyway, she should be okay. Uh, the best uh, Space Sim series of all time? Well, as a whole series, maybe? I don't know. X-Wing TIE Fighter is super solid and uh, free space is not to be uh, Dismissed. I think the free space. The last time I played, I was just blown away, and I I remember saying to myself, "No, this is the best." <laughs> but for great games, sometimes each time you play, then it's like, "No, this is the best." That means they're all good. Means they're all. It's all good. Baby. Come, come up behind me, please. Right like that. No. God My speed so low. My speed was very low for some reason. Oh, he just died. I think he... He ran into me. That's awesome. Clint is still there. 
Okay. Starlets. Bogies in sight. Yeah, no. There's Freelancer, which is okay. Recently. Recently. I think it's a 2005 or 6 game. Okay, we need to rush. We need to focus. Hey, that was my kill. Ah, oh, I wanted to leave him. Now let's attack Back my target. We can, we can do this. No, stop switching targets. is Accomplished. I'm turning now and it's just not turning. Well, oh, maybe it's just because it turns a little bit more like this, a little less like this. Maybe that's just it. I don't know. Anyway, mission objective done. Nice job, bro. <laughs> yes, it was a nice job. Need clearance, TCS Victory. You wasted every last one of them, sir. That's what I like to see, cats pushing up daisies. You got clearance. <laughs> cats pushing up daisies. Oh, uh, you're awesome. And yeah, in the fleet here, there's not only the Victory. There's the Sheffield covered it in Ajax. Are they just... Yeah, there's other... That's the Ajax. Yeah, why is it doing that? Yeah, it's it's slowing down. Boo. 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 That's weird. Anyway. Oh, I controlled the No, I, I thought I controlled the throttle there. Yeah, I am using a joystick. I'm using this, which is pretty fancy, I think, for this. Because I have a throttle here, which is really nice. 
Oh, and I'm using F1, F4, but I can use the D-pad for that to look uh, behind me to use my back turret. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Oh, no, no, I, I'm really bad with a joystick, with a real, a real joystick. What is this? I'm just bad at it. I think, and it's my opinion only, that it takes too much time to like get... <laughs> I know it's just poop, but I don't know. It's too... It's... I don't know, it's, I, I just need this. <laughs> I don't need a big thing that does that. And this one <laughs> has a lot of, of movement, I think, compared to what I usually uh, use is this. Like, the amount of distance between the neutral zone and this. And this one. Like, this one is a little bigger, not, not a lot but maybe like 30% more, and it makes a difference. It feels a little more, you feel more in control, because when I use the PlayStation 3 controller, I'm usually at zero or 100%, and being in the middle is more difficult, because I'm bad at joysticks. I was always bad, I'm, I'm really a mouse kind of guy, and even then, in first person shooters, I'm not the best, but I'm definitely a mouse kind of guy. Mission 40 or something. I might have missed one or two saves here and there. Okay, so I think we're gonna call it a night. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, thanks zombie, the goose, uh, mix, uh, that new guy. What was his name? God damn it! <laughs> Mud honey, mud honey. Thanks for the follow, Mother Honey. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna raid someone. Tomorrow I'll be continuing uh, Fallout 1.5. I guess. For those who were there last time, uh, I did reload, so I'm redoing stuff. But it's, it's not better. It, I'm gonna elaborate on that tomorrow so tomorrow 8 p.m eastern time continuing fallout 1.5 we are close ish to the end not gonna finish of course but uh, we're into more more intense stuff uh, thursday is gonna be more uh, when commander 3 so 8 p.m eastern time every day except saturdays we're gonna raid uh, One is these two. It depends. <laughs> I like to check out the stream and I have to wait for the freaking ad. I used to have almost no ads and now I have all the ads and I'm a prime. So do you have like six ads when you click on a video, guys? Wow. Fuck. It's bullshit. Oh yeah, we're gonna raid this. Oh yeah! We're gonna raid Mr. Wuchak who's playing some space shooter, 3D space shooter. But not like r space shooters. You'll see. It's a good old shooter. Like okay, those 2D shooters? It's a little 3D, it's on the Sega Saturn. So the, it had to be 3D of course. So thanks everyone for watching, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, no signal. Is he stopping? What? No. Anyways, it is done. We're raiding. We're raiding. They had more quarters, right? Hmm. Okay, we got another, another one of a, whoa. Hey guys. 
Local Retro Gaming Junction. Hey Simon, how you doing tonight? Welcome on in. You wanted to check out that game? We just... <laughs> I'll pop it back in. I'll pop it back in. We just, uh... <laughs> Thank you for that host, but... We just got a game over. Check it out. It's called Radiant Silver Gun. Retro game jump. No, it's fine. I'll pop it in. We'll do one quick run on, uh... On, like, a hard difficulty. So I'll die right away. <laughs> it's worth checking out, though. It's, it's interesting. Um... It's like a super anime 